Now, the Lagos State Traditional Council has cleared the air on purported statements circulating on social media allegedly made by Obari Wana Kyolo of Lagos. The chiefs denied insinuations that the Obari threatened Igbo residents of Lagos if they failed to vote for continuity. They stated that the meeting between the Kabiesi and Izindibu ended with the traditional breaking of cola nuts, alligator pepper, bitter cola and pouring of libations on the ground. It was within this context that the tradition of Lagos with regard to the lagoon came up. They explained. And the chiefs noted that the Kabiesi explained that whoever works against the throne and the peaceful coexistence in Lagos would end up in the lagoon as per tradition. Obakiolu stated further that the Igbo people have not betrayed the throne. Lagos has also not betrayed the Igbo people. Lagos has done so much to make the Igbos comfortable and to prosper. For this, we expect reciprocal respect and understanding. The Oba of Lagos prays that the lagoon and the throne will continue to bless and protect all those who reside and visit Lagos. We are all one in Lagos. Obo of Lagos is the father of all, and I chose all the people of his protection. The palace makes further clarification on the statement by the Oba of Lagos. My attention has been, made, has been drawn to a publication in a national newspaper where His Royal Majesty Oba Lilwan Akiolu was alleged to have threatened Igbos in Lagos to make them vote for Ambode. Last Sunday, all honorary Ese Igbos in Lagos paid a courtesy call to His Royal Majesty Oba Kiolu. At the meeting, the visitors praised the Oba for his fatherly support for and cooperation with Igbos in Lagos. They assure him of their continued good neighborliness with other tribes in Lagos and support everything that will further strengthen that harmony. Obakiolu on his part acknowledged the enviable performance of Governor Fashola and his contribution to the growth of investments in Lagos. He gave the assurance that he is not disturbed or angry by, with Southeast and South South force for President Jonathan. As perceived by the SA in Dibos. The others thereafter called on the Igbo chiefs to show appreciation to Lagos State by supporting Mr. Ambody for continuity of excellence as they have early promised. He assured them of his continued support and assistance where needed, and the meeting ended with the traditional breaking of colas, alligator pepper and bitter cola and pouring of liberation on the ground. It was within this context that the tradition of, of Lagos with regard to the lagoon came up. It was noted that whoever works against the throne and the interests and peaceful coexistence of Lagos will end up in lagoon as per tradition. Two, Obakiolu stated further that the Igbo people have not betrayed the throne. Lagos has also not betrayed the Igbo people. Lagos has done so much to make the Igbos comfortable and to prosper. For this, we expect reciprocal respect and understanding. The Oba of Lagos prays that the lagoon and the throne will continue to bless and protect all those who reside and visit Lagos. Okay. Three, Oba Kiolu is the father of all. 
irrespective of tribe, religion, or political persuasion in, in Lagos, we have an old traditional proverb that relates to the, leg, to the lagoon. The lagoon is unique to Lagos. The proverb stresses the need for unity and understanding when, when you do business in an environment and in this case, when you live and do business in Lagos, Obakiolu prays for peace for the land of Lagos and prosperity for all its inhabitants.